made some small changes today on my end to see if maybe that'll fix it. Because I've noticed every now and then my Streamlabs looks like it's running slow. Now, I haven't had any problems with the game other than the once in a blue moon stuttering, and I'm pretty sure that's still from my SSD. It's been fine. Okay, then I'm gonna revert the change back. Because it looks like on my Streamlabs, like all of a sudden during the cutscene, yesterday when we ran into Ed, like it looked like the game just basically quit doing anything. And I was like, there's no way. Okay, so then I'm gonna revert my stuff back. We'll see what happens today. Well, gaming is good. And it could just be my Streamlabs showing stuttering more so than the game actually doing it. Cause I know there's times where I've looked on my Streamlabs and it looks rough through there but no one's noticed anything. It could just be like a, a self-inflicted wound or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to revert that back quick and then we'll boot the game. We'll play. Actually, no, we'll just let this roll then. And we'll see what happens. But it looked like all of a sudden during that boss fight, it got really bad. And I was like, I don't know if it's my, just my Streamlabs or if it's the game. Or the, like, maybe I need to tone something down a little bit. Um, so today's beer is by New Belgium. It's the Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force Fruit Punch IPA. <sighs> Low key, this is like my dirtiest favorite secret right now. I don't know what it is with the Fruit Punch IPA, but like. It just hits right. And their their Haze Force or whatever is pretty good too. I almost prefer the Haze Force more, but I know. When it comes to drinking hazies, Rachel's not really a big fan. And every once in a blue moon, she'll have one after work. So I try to um, accommodate for her if she doesn't have beer in the house. Right now, she didn't. So it's like, well, let's do that. I still haven't had to buy beer, though, for a while. I really haven't been drinking a lot at home. Um, I've noticed that my, my overall beer intake on a weekly basis has gone down quite a bit. I didn't have a beer at golf today. Um... I didn't have a beer at golf last week either. Like my drinking has come down, which is good. It's not like I drink a ton, but it's uh it's just on this weird like little drop right now. It's not that big of a deal. So I keep trying to watch um for Marvel Snap Miss Marvel stuff. And I swear the only thing Miss Marvel looks good in. Is control decks like it she does like i don't think it's bad I, I don't think it's bad at all let me see my numbers here everything seems fine for now i have to keep my eye on stuff but it looks like every time it's like here's this hot new spicy deck i'm like i'll just take a look i don't have marvel i'm not gonna buy the battle pass for but it's just like it's a control ongoing deck it's like thanos ongoing but with ms marvel instead like i don't know i haven't seen any lists really without but most of the deck lists i've seen all said the same thing or the videos the reviews whatever the articles were you need to you want jeff because you want to be able to squeeze jeff in the lanes where you're probably going to lose and that's the only way to like super guarantee it and it seems like But I've also seen a lot of it where it looks like it kind of duds out a little bit because it looks like people are having problems. Um, so on one of the videos I watched, uh, someone had a lane of Nebula, Jeff, and Jeff. And then uh, they had, what, the Bar Sinister? And then they had another lane of, like, Jeff, Jeff, and something else. And her attack didn't change. So I don't know if they have to be unique or not. Because, like, if that's really the case, uh, that's that's going to make that game that card pretty hard to use. Like, you're going to have to layer your stuff just right. And that, that's fine. Like, cards that have a higher, uh, I guess, like a higher skill ceiling to use are always cool. But it was like, bro, like, I don't know if the ability just wasn't working or maybe I wasn't fully paying attention, but it looked like it needed 
completely individual numbers for each row. And I was like, damn, if that's the case, like it'll it will be playable because that 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 swing and attack is going to be really big. But like, I'm not a hundred percent sure what the uh, what the decks are going to look like then, or what they're really going to want in there. So for some reason last night, and I don't know why, I had a dream. Where we went all into combat just to get the, the stun wave thing uh, kills things because I have such a hard on for the shotguns. I, for, I forgot what was going on. It was like it only makes sense because if you're going to be all close range, right, you might as well have a guaranteed kill. The punch to reload the shotgun and then your shotgun to go nuts. And I was like, ooh. It's still weird to me how some of their heads follow them. Like they hardcore snap to you. And oh, you know, nothing. It. Alonth or whatever his name is, Alionth is gross. Like, it's. It feels like it's partially a win more card. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. But it's so gross to just be like, ha ha, reveal first, blow up your board before anything even flips over. Like. I don't know that, that that to me feels way too cheeky like I don't that's the problem I have is like the cards don't reveal it almost like you waste your turn six or maybe your turn five I don't know it's it definitely feels imbalanced I mean even going second and just being like it blows up what you played there a lot of times you're probably still gonna snatch that lane anyway I don't know I don't True what they say. You do have some kind of defense. I'm not sure what the fix is, but that card is stupid dumb. See, so here's my problem with the zero power, right? This thing was like, well, why don't you just make it like minus one power? I'm like, cause then in Mr. Negative decks, if they live the dream where they turn the Mr. Negative turn three, then you're gonna have an 06 that also destroys their board. Like ah, three feels like the magic number because you don't want to accidentally break stuff too much. I like the idea more, I think, of negative just because it is so cheeky gross. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Oh. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. Okay. I swear this, that was the bad dude from the first movie. No work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think nah, this sounds like a, tr a prank somewhere. This ain't gonna go good for anybody. Any city improvements are welcome. I am not one for statements. Don't, do not ask machines about dreams. Bro, that seems like the most least roboy copy thing you can humanly say. Like, what? Um. Feel like any in city or any city improvements are welcome. Final answer. I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is a. I mean, but not of you yet. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. Yeah. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder. Has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? It feels like a trick question a little bit, you know what I mean? It doesn't I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Um I love that. It allows me to excel at my work. It is only a burden for the criminals. 
<laughs> that kind of sounds like a RoboCop answer, though. I do not dwell on that. Um... All right, we're going to go with the uh, It Only Burdens Criminals. I feel like that's very RoboCop. The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. Well, real Bro, look at me. I exude it. I'm I am confidence. aware of your instability problems. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your <laughs> ex these? They increase my performance. They are a waste of my time. Two sides to everything. I guess I'm going to go with the. I don't feel like they're a waste of time, right? Because I feel like that's going to get back to the psychiatry lady the eval lady and that's gonna like ruin her day they do kind of all suck i'm just gonna go with there's two sides to everything i think that that makes the most sense it helps me with perspective but it also brings out things buried that's part of the recovery process I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. I don't know. The way he snapped his head up tells me he can fuck off. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? You can give me a hundred bottles of bootios. Um, I feel like the honest answer here is uh, Lewis needs medical attention. She's our partner. We can't, we can't not help her. My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I like how it says you pleaded. I, to say, I feel like we just kind of stayed. A lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. This dude has to be a bad guy. Like, there's no way this dude's a good dude. Take like, he's going to be tied into the, the, miss the missing... Uh, Peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Into the missing brains or some shit. I don't know. With a name like Old Man. Can I just drop down? We did check the apartment, right? I think we did. Yeah. Nah, dude. He's, he's wearing the wrong color suit. Right? He's clearly a bad guy. Aye. What was that? <laughs> Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Okay, that was pretty sweet. Oh, shit. What was that? I mean, to be fair, though, I'm sure if Robocop actually did that, the noise that would make would give everybody tinnitus. Hey, Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. Probably poop. Dude, I poop myself a lot, not a little. There would be shit, so much shit, but my nickname Most would become shit. To raise towers of glass and steel. Eh, go ahead. Just not where we live. Okay, I respect that. The old nimbies. Not in my backyard. I don't know though. That dude, I don't know. I feel like no matter what, the guy that's an asshole to us at the police station 
Like, he has to be a bad guy. Just because he's such a douche nozzle. There's no way he's not. I have that. I'm set so in stone on that. Like, that dude... Gotta be. Gotta be a bad guy. Because he's such a prick. And towards the wrong people. City Hall is the decaying symbol of mismanagement and corruption. Detroit deserves a fresh start. And the only way to achieve that is to take the city private. Delta City for our children. I love that. Oh, no. That clearly he's a bad guy. Like, there's no way he's not, right? Name like old man plus turn in the city private. I don't buy it. He's scary. I at least like the fact that they kept the town like pretty realistic feeling. It's not like so grimy that it seems like, you know, it's from a cartoon show. It's just got the right amount of grit and normalness to it. Saw, dude. Whoa, it's getting so cold. Luckily, the previous owner didn't need this jacket anymore. It has no bullet holes. He's got to be a good guy. Like, I don't think he's going to turn on us. I don't know. I've been starting to like, there's got to be a twist somewhere. It can't just be your RoboCop. I don't buy that. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. <laughs> I at least respect that Pickles is straight up with us. Like, that's, that's how you know he's a good dude. All right. So I feel like, right. Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. Robocop would probably say, like, you know, do you think you should change your habit? I don't know, though. Right. The need an extra kick sounds nice because it sounds like we're offering him a bump. <laughs> and be careful, old habits die hard. But I think we got to go. Maybe it's time to change your ways. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer. Now, would I? I mean, there's truth to that. Ah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. <laughs> that SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So... Your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. I just want to say, I feel like because we're RoboCop, we would be tied into the system. We wouldn't have to be like, where is trouble? I feel like we would just, we're like tuned into it. Is Briggs the only reason you're helping? You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gail. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. I mean, that's fair. Has anyone seen the accident? Any witnesses? Uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. Oh, please be the space guy again. Maybe he could help. Please be the space guy. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. Okay, that's sussy. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? Dude, absolutely. If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Oh, what a fuck shit-ass answer. All my problems. Let's go. If it keeps you out of trouble, what an asshole. So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject.
So now we have to make a choice here. Check out the Paranoid Vagrant or Question Ben. I don't know if we'll get to do both. That's, uh... I love how it's called Be Kind Rewind. Very nice. So it's... I feel like... I mean... Right, if we were Robocop, like we're trying to roleplay here. We were Robocop. I feel like we'd probably ask Ben, just because that seems more... I guess normal. Dude, if Lewis ended up being the bad guy, though. Holy shit, that would be a plot twist I totally didn't see semening. I'd be nuts. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea. Why do they have a police sign in here to shoot? That Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that. Investigate drama in thriller tapes. Scanning. No matches. Cubers, Cubbers Arena? Cubers Arena? Whatever that is, they need to make that into a real thing. I'm digging the art on that quite a bit. How about some drama? Examine the tape. Kind Shepherd. Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. <laughs> Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. Ooh, okay. So Alex Murphy got a second chance, I feel like, is the most fucked answer here. Only a low life would think that. I feel like there is the, the always a way back is the proper answer. That Alex Murphy one sounds fucked up because that's us. Like, so we're basically saying we got a second chance. I feel like Robocop doesn't love being like this. We'll go with this one. Final answer, I think. There is nothing that you cannot come back from. Spoken like a true good shepherd. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Examine the tape. Oh, shit, you, you can actually read those spines. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh, man, great movie. It kind of sounds like a porn flick. Personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. Oh hell yeah, you got a Razzie for it. Easier said than done, my man. Diamonds are made under pressure. I request you do not give in to the pressure. Whomp whomp. It takes courage to resist the pressure. Take these. I love it. You're thinking too hard. I don't think that it takes courage to resist. That sounds more like a uh, 80s. Uh, it takes courage to not give in to the pressure. Poster that would have been in a school. But hey, if that director can resist it, then why the hell can't I, right? But let's get back to it. Pickles will remember that. Okay, so we did something good there. Something was remembered. Or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and It's a crime to rent a film for adults to a person who is under 18 years old. Proxy 2. Eve's Flower. Bro, that sounds like some porn shit too. Hey Zeus. 
Oh, Mom, I want to watch his Master's Night. There is no match. There's no way it's a sci-fi movie. It's a sci-fi film? Fuck no, it's not. I skipped one? Oh yeah, I did. Hmm. See, I was thinking about it before and I'm like, what if I missed one? Which one's this called? Celestial Decay? I mean, that sounds fucking metal. Let's try it. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. Fair. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. <laughs> when the book is closed, you cannot reopen it. And to become imitation. Gives hope that there is more. Okay, all of these are lame as fuck. I'm gonna go with the when the book is closed because same thing with the Robocop movies. The first, it should have stopped at one. You cannot reopen a closed book. So when you're done, you're done? That's rough. Probably true. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record. That's not the tape. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Two and three were, uh, I mean, three was like really bad. Two was just like not good. Oh, is this the flower one? Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. True. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. Recognizing beauty in something it makes you feel wow. Bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. I fucking love Pickles. He's the best character in the goddamn game. Tax avoidance is a crime. You know, movies, there is value in that. We're going to go with that. That sounds the most positive. Because find something meaningful sounds fucked up. You know, movies, there is value in that. Yep. There's nothing better than a good movie. But we're still missing our tape. Hey. I you son of a bitch. It. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire. But here it is. <sighs> Is it, oh. Is the tape oh, it's go time. Uh, tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? Oh, here we go, baby. Wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! Rude. Do you need assistance? <laughs> forgot we had an extra <laughs> oh my god the big poof explosion at the end dude talk about unnecessary oh yes no shit oh it did this like blah 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 nice don't drop a grenade that's all you gotta do just don't be stupid You know what I like about this, though? Because it is kind of set in the old times. Like, we're still playing with VHS apes, right? CRT tube TVs. Fucking change machines. Like, bro. That's the good stuff right there. First, I hear a bunch of movie puns. And then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Let's talk to the clerk. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. 
Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. So I'm not gonna lie, part of me wants to go into the armor because now that we're we've been fighting like certain enemies, it feels like they're just shredding us alive. We're starting to take a lot of damage here. Josh Pickles. Last tapes or last rented tapes. Sticky pickles and sweetness or sweetest. Gone with the spirit. The banjo strikes back, the bad, the fat, and the dirty. What the fuck? Why is everyone else's address hidden? My huh, game? Flopsy and CO. Two girls gone bland. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Prejudiced in cigarettes. Abandoned highway, one collar. In the land of dragons. Cubes arena. Last fast blast. Portal combat. Meadows of Destruction, Lone with Teenagers. Hide or Die, Hubers 2, Death Away. It's Lost in Sewers 3, Die Easily 2. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cute, okay. Oh. Disfingered 2. Mm. Cruel Kittens Strike Back, The Undefined AI. Wait, does it want us to leave out the back door? I guess. I like those slow-mo time fights, though, or fights that happen like that. They happen so quick, but they're so good. I'm still kind of regretting putting our gun on the full auto, though, because, like, I think we're trading a ton of accuracy. It doesn't feel quite as, as snappy, head-tappy as it did uh, yesterday. It's close, but it's not quite there. But like the bad, the fat, and the dirty, what kind of, what? I mean, I get it, but sort of. They were so close to having it be perfect. It was pretty good, though. So clearly, uh, Pickles owes somebody something, and that's why he is like... I has to run. Video rental? Six dollars a movie? Holy piss penis. Dude, that's like... Isn't that close to the price of the subscription for Netflix for like a month? Charles Garages. Charlie Goodwin. Rent to own? Since 1976. $6 back then is what? That's what I thought. I remember when family video went up to like five bucks and people were like, uh, no, that's a lot. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, we solved it on one. Nice. You're all right. Well, at least we know he has a VHS player here. Uh, I overheard some torch heads saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. I did not sign up for this. You will need more help for lying to me. You have bigger problems than that. Um. Okay, the you will need more help for lying to me. 
sounds like some bullshit. Like, I don't like that one's a little rude. I did not sign up for this. I feel like is the most honest. So we'll go with that one. That is not the kind of help I was willing to provide. Come on, give me a break. I, I fucked up. I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours. It takes courage. Sorry to disappoint you, Dad. But I'm lacking in that department. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from nuke distribution? <laughs> I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? <sighs> yeah, I'm doing this as a friend and I will take the money. I am not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. Hand over the case. Yeah. You can't do this to me, man. I just did. <laughs> Fuck you, Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square. Rude, bro. I'm sorry that it's like that, but... Bro. Bro. It is true. I guess we're going to question Ben here. So I feel like the paranoid probably has a better line, but I feel like Robocop would be more sensible and try to be like, just talk to the regular Huomans. Greetings, citizen. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on then. Let's see how it's done. I feel like oh, if we press, don't, don't. You knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. <laughs> it doesn't start. Pop the hood. What? Dude, I'm not a mechanic. So, do you know what the problem is? Oh, you are now. The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Ooh, here we go. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure that you knew about that already. What? I mean, I would never miss such a thing. Bro, this dude's like the world's jankiest mechanic. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I'm guessing it's an easy fix. Oh, we have to fix it now too? What the fuck? It started. We own the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big chunky guy showed up. Ball head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. Tell me about this tattoo design. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. Well, that's convenient for us going there. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? 
It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. Damn. Oh, he's not a botanist either. <laughs> oh, I don't think we've ever went up this. Hold on. Maybe we did. Damn, I totally thought we were going to find something. I got all excited. Shit. Bro, that car would be totaled beyond belief. That car would have just imploded. Oh, it didn't highlight because we've already been in here. Okay. Just remember, he's not a botanist. And clearly, he's not a mechanic either. Hey, Robocop, can you fix this shit? I have no clue what's going on. Does it still say when I come over here, area of investigation still? Or area of importance or whatever? No? Okay, so then it must change every time you roll through. I wanted to see if we could run people over to start walking. <clears throat> Push them out of the way. You are in my spot. Bro, why you gotta look at me all dirty like that? It's fucked up, man. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. <coughs> A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I bring out your jawline? What the hell, dude? That is against the police code of conduct. I have enough scars. We're going to go with the uh, that's against the police code of conduct. I feel like that's just the most robocopy. copy. Having a tattoo on the face is against the police code of conduct. Isn't that boring? Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street? Oh, he's clearly lying. <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. Vultures mentioned on several pages. What next? You're gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? <laughs> I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Nah, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to. Yeah, tell him off, Robocop. Ah, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. Uh. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Nah, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Oh, I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. I don't know if we gotta call him scum, but like... Damn, bro, harsh. Why do they got just a random picture of that dude's bike? Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. 
Huh. Okay. Mills. Isn't that the asshole guy? Who's an asshole? Or no? It is an honor to finally meet the hero of It is not. Person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? Yes, cooperation. Oh, I love it depends on the team. No, I prefer to go. We're going to choose here. Yes, cooperation increases efficiency. Because our partners currently, and clearly he's a sneaky snake, for sure, no doubt. Cooperation among police officers helps increase efficiency. And not just among police officers. I'm glad you look at it that way. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather. Oh, I think this dude's the mayor or something like that. I think he's the one running right now. Now it's different. Or he's the current one. Because the guy we talked at at the police station, I think, was the one running against. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I am not a treasure. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? <sighs> See, I feel like the... <sighs> See, that's the problem. I feel like one is probably RoboCop's answer. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just going to say, no, I stay away from it. This is, I think that's what we told the, the last guy too. I mean, he is a cop, but he's also like half machine too, but I'm going to, I'm going to say, no, I stay away from it. I stay far away from politics. However, politics does not stay away from you, does it? You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say has a political impact. No matter if you got a dirty playthrough, I feel like getting in bed with all the politician guys would be crazy. You want to represent. I feel like that would lead to quite the uh, the hoedown and hoot nanny. Ability or partnership and determination. It'd be quite the time. Paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you value team play. Together, let's form a team. For so I'm not forming city. anything with you, Boyle. We have a common goal. No, we literally don't. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for this. I love that. We literally don't. <laughs> I count on your support. I do like the all the politicians are like. We supported. How did we support him? What did I pick that would make you believe? Maybe that was just the default, like, answer at the end. Because there was n no, like, I, no, I fucking didn't. I don't deal in politics. Well, think about it. You, you made friends. What? I said no. I said, uh oh, oh. And the game's like, uh-huh. <laughs> what? Okay. When it says area of investigation, there has to be something of relevance somewhere right because i i love it we like teams that's all we agreed <laughs> oh no it's true though oh it's probably this bike right here oh Oh shit, there's bikes everywhere. I knew that. What's up, Seth, my dude? Our dicks and helicopters every time. Not a match. Um, let's see if there's one over here. How was work today? Hopefully not too, too strenuous on you. That politician dude, though, if we get the chance to shoot him in the penis, I'm shooting him in the penis. His penis is dead to me. 
was about to say, this one's conveniently right next to this door. This has to be the one. Shoot me in the beep, 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 beep. And some, some company needs to make this shirt, and I would buy it. Like, this is... Robo is a dick. I would I would wear that just because I've loved this game. Someone needs to make that. We'll get five. Nice. A lot of traffic today or just a long drive? Or both. I mean, food. All right. Are you guys happy you got cleaned potty boxes today? They're like, hell yeah. That's why we started a little late today. One of the things I had to do was I had to uh, make sure that their pens were cleaned up because kind of smelled like some Fremunda cheese in the room. And I was like, it's got to be the rabbits. Tomorrow, the guinea pigs get their cages cleaned. So they'll be happy that they'll get to the piss and shit in areas they've already pissed and shit in. But they'll be clean so they can make them dirty. I'm so glad you're here. I can deal with screams and fights, but this music is driving me crazy. My head is, it's, it's like a hangover. <laughs> Wait, maybe it is. Oh yeah, maybe it is a hangover. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we gotta go upstairs. So we gotta check downstairs first. Always, always try to hit all this stuff. I can already tell though we're like it feels like there's no way we can 100 percent this in one playthrough it just feels like certain choices are gonna make it so that can't happen okay we now have four skill points which is more than two skill points by 100 percent skill points what is this weapon damage Weapon damage can go to 20. Reload can go there. It sucks that if you want the armor piercing and the... F no, we want the armor piercing. I was going to say maybe we don't, but like, yeah, we fucking do. Why wouldn't we? That would make no sense. Like, there's no disadvantage to having the armor piercing. And that's at 15. Um, let's see here. Let's try. Wait, what? Bro, we can make fucking more boards. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go to the four three select whoa fucking shit okay that's a grid um holy ass look at all the shit the gun does reload speed extra damage reload speed extra armor extra armor laser focus reduces spread improving accuracy full mode massive damage but no critical hits <laughs> okay hold on we kind of accidentally opened up pandora's box here fuck um, so we want, okay, so this is good here because this will connect that. And then we want a right and actually we want a three way if we have any, right? Actually, I suppose we can jam an all way in there because that's. Like, that's fine. Here, we only want up and down. Uh, okay. So let's try to make one here. Oh, no, I lied. Fuck that. Oh, shit, Bipples. Hold on. Ah! Go back to this, the board. We have an up and down. Okay. And then here we want a left and down. Actually, I suppose here it really doesn't matter. We can throw an all in there if we wanted to. What's that reload speed? Because it doesn't matter if it, if it touches that or not. Like, that's that's fine. Uh, we'll just throw an 18 in there. Because, like, that's... Oh, hey. Oh, wait, no. That was the massive damage. Okay, so hold on. We're going to try to flood this board. Uh... 
Uh, so to go here, we really want just just a writer. Sure. And then here we would want just a lefter if we have one. 10% weapons, but fine. So for damage here, uh, technically an all, all round goes is fine. Here we just want an up and down. All right, so we may need to merge one for that. And we don't have any straight just up and downs right now. No. We have lefty righties. We know this one will go here no matter what. We just have to get to that. Um. For now, we'll just do this to keep this simple. Okay, and then for here, we want just up and down. Just another up and down. Okay. So now our armor piercing is way down. Our magazine capacity is down. So let's let's roll with this and let's see what happens in the next combat then. Because if not, instead of doing that on stream and sitting here all fucking day trying to play uh, merge the chips, I'll just do it in my free time off stream and try to get that all tits out and make it look good. Stop fighting over there, you two. I hear you. Stop it. You know shit's about to go down right now. That's true. But that was a dude that got away. Oh, you punched him right in the peepee. -pee. Bro, peepee -pee punch power activate. Oh shit, we got company. Do you mind if I hang out with you kids? Yo, I think that's the first one we got on the first go. Why are we get loot? Okay, hold on. So the super mega damage, no matter what, pushes you into the penalty. And this here, the laser focus, no matter what, is going to shove us into the penalty. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, I turned it on for like two seconds just to see. I didn't actually touch anything though. Like it, um, it reset the carding, the starting cutscene and shit for me. And I didn't really pay attention to it. Oh, wait, is there a safe somewhere? Okay, hold on. But no, I haven't, um, I haven't looked yet. So it looked like it wiped everything, but I'm assuming if they added a ton of stuff, That that would make sense because they want players to like what's with the new stuff when i turned it on yeah it, it, it did the main cutscene, and then it put me right back to the uh just talking with the little girl right at the start of the first level it didn't show any base or anything The last time I looked, 
they were they were going back and forth on the idea of a wipe. They didn't really want to do it. Bro, it said we got access to a safe. There it is. I was gonna say, where the fuck's the safe? But it sounded like there's at least, I would assume two more levels. It sounded like they added a couple more of the, um, the end level bosses. Like, you know, and they also said too, we're gonna continue to update the game and add stuff. So don't think like, don't think this is the end of it. We're still gonna make more. Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? Uh, huh? would never see Why him. brains? He keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? When? Now? Uh, my bed would be in front of a screen. Remember that fucking... That dude got fucked up, dude. He looks like he's having a bad time. He's always watching. I love how I put my hat on every now and then I clap my mic. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Meaning that they needed money? Go push it out. I don't know if it needed money or not. I think that they want to keep updating it like other roguelite, like gunfire and that, where, you know, let's keep it going. But let's get it started somewhere. Scanning. Use the computer. And I know like it's on Game Pass, which I thought was a good thing that I know that probably brought some money in for them too. I don't know how much, but I would assume that brought some money in for them, which is nice. Someone needs to chew their food better. Old mall. Okay. So I'm hoping that this is Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. Because I liked what was there. The combat felt good. The movement felt really nice. Like they definitely have something there. And it would be nice to have more than just one gunfire. Like the world can use more gunfire reborns. So I'm hoping that this is good for them. I know they wanted to release it earlier this year but they had some hiccups so i'm assuming whatever they wanted to add just wasn't fitting into the game but a new class is good some more levels is nice bosses are always a welcome appreciated thing um i'm assuming the hard wipe came because they probably changed a lot of the uh the passive bonuses you get from finding stuff because they seemed to be very conflicted on it when i read through their notes they were like we didn't really want to do it yeah but it had to. I don't know. You know, maybe they just decided that was the best for everybody, but who knows? More reason to play it. I'm cool with that. And the game has achievements now, too. Or if they didn't, or if they did before, they added different ones. Because I got one for jumping my vehicle at the, uh, the load screen. Now it's just hopefully it comes out. Hopefully it'll be like gunfire, but it'll get it'll get caught on and people will be into it. And then let's hope they keep adding, you know, here's a new mech and some new levels every once in a while. Here's some new guns, and they keep updating it that way. Do I wish gunfire maybe would have got a little more update? Like, yeah. Are they done though? I I doubt it. I bet they're they're definitely still gonna. Keep updating gunfire. But I really liked RoboQuest, so I have, I'm fingers crossed that good stuff happens to him. Okay, so we're definitely activating the, uh, 
Eliminating enemies in slow-mo gives you more slow-mo. The dash sounds boring. I'm sorry. Like, that just seems so dumpy. And the armor seems dumpy, too. So either we're just going to flesh out the combat tree more and just be like, sure, okay. Or we're just going to sit on every point till the end of time and not really worry about it. Maybe the doubling up on the, the happiness people points could be okay, but we're not really sure what that does even yet. I haven't had it. It doesn't feel like it's affected anything. I know it said, like, this character will remember that, but it doesn't seem like anything's actually come from them telling us, hey, they're going to remember that. So who knows? <clears throat> maybe it will, maybe it won't. That looks like a good mall. I would go to that one. Probably never. Oh, please let this be a gunfight in here in a rundown, ratchety ass, stanky mall. Stop. My pants can only get so tight. Oh, I wish you could zoom in. What do we got here? <clears throat> cool wool. Zap, zip and zap. Waltons. That's really it. It's like the same store. Jolly Burger. Sam's Souvenirs. Brown and blue. Gold Fion Jewelry. Global Record. World Vision. VHs. I like how they sprayed the dude up who was here and the girl mannequin is just like totes left alone. I've actually been to malls that kind of look like this though. Very nice. Very classy. And I sort of made the decision today too. I think that we're at that part now uh, in Starfield where I think I'm just going to start blowing through it because oh man, dude. I'm really... So burnt out on just seeing the same boss, or not the boss, but the same uh, hideout shapes all the time. I swear it's the same two over and over and over again. It's like, you know what? I think. Oh? First they can't even connect a few fucking cables. I think it's time to just finish that up. Bro, that is sussy as hell. The reporter lady is literally chilling next to the baddies. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some big wig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the big wig? That's what I want to find out. I'm actually surprised we can tone our voice down. I have no contact with the funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. And I do love the fact that this is the brother of one of the underlings from the main bad guy in the first game. Very spicy. anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Wow, savage. Who's there? Show yourself. You'd better not. That noise, like you would have known as Robocop. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems... Of course she's gonna record. We're gonna have a flashback in the middle of the fight. Okay. That was a hot name for an achievement. Nuke him, blow up three dudes with one explosion. I guess we haven't done that yet. This gun is way too fucking crunch. I didn't realize there was multiple boards. The game never tells you like, hey, there's more boards. Or if it did, maybe I just didn't read it. Okay, so that was a really bad throw, don't at me.
Oh shit. Oh bro. We just got fucked. Oh? Come to us. Yeah, Dad, Dad we're waiting we're for, you. for you. Okay. I love how the tires totally kicked out because they're just like shit. You guys drink water so weird. I hear Ollie sitting there, or not Ollie, Oryx, and she's drinking, and the little ball in her bottle's clicking, you know? Then all of a sudden I hear, like, what the hell are you doing? Or you're trying to drink water really hard. Oh. That was so sweet to get fucking smashed with the car. Bam. Hence, I guess the name goes from the past, so clearly this is going to be like a main main story part here, very pivotal, I bet, or it's going to be absolutely nothing. Oh. It's going to be a nothing burger, isn't it? I kind of forgot like the way they're portraying robocop in this it's almost like max pain levels of like being a family man can you fly uh, uh, okay so that's a reference from the can you fly Bobby so in the first game there's a shootout while a dude's driving a van guy gets shot in the leg and basically the main bad guy asks him you know can you fly, Bobby? And then he throws him out onto the other police vehicle. It's fucking awesome. Are we going to have gunfights with the mannequins? I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Punk you. Sparkle ring. One sparkle can save your life. Wow. New color. Same lethality. Oh, so it's like a taser ring. Yeah, that's right. They had self-defense rings. Brubaker and Hall. Wedding clothing. Da -da -da -da. This is clearly going to be a trap. This feels pretty sussy. Waiting for someone to just like spring out and crack us in the damn dome. You're scaring me. I don't like how scary you are now. It's not your dad, kid. It's not even a police officer. I don't know what it is anymore. We know she wouldn't say that about us. What the fuck? Hmm. 
Well, let's see where else we can go then. I like how right as it wigs out, like it changes seamlessly like that. That's beautiful. Hi, you've reached the Vandenberg store. Please leave a message after the tone. Kind of hard to have, have a hard time believing though some of these phones and stuff would still be working like. Officer killed in the line of duty. Were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I might have buried it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty shell? I like how they uh they painted on lipstick and the nipples. <laughs> I'm still waiting for something to spring out and just like clap our cheeks. Oh the statues moved? Oh are the mannequins? They're just Okay, okay. Were they just part of our mind then? Oh, hey, they all turned on us. Nice. World-class husband. A father. A cop. That's like the shittiest rendition of a Pac-Man ghost thing I've ever seen. Weak. I like how we can't punch them hard enough to knock them over, but you can absolutely knock their heads, some of their arms off. What the hell? So there were no, no mannequins at all, I see. Okay. I feel like when Robocop's un unhinging like this, him holding out his gun seems very dangerous for everybody. Did you hear? It's, it's true. true. You're, you're not, not one, one of us, us anymore. anymore. You're, you're not, not human. And you're, and you're not, not a real cop. cop. You're, you're just, just the, the rotting remains, remains of Alex Murphy. You're, you're something, something that should, that should never have, have been. been. Something, Something that should not exist. Wow. We have to fix you. We have to erase you. And we will. Just come to us. Come to the rooftop. We're waiting. What the fuck, dude? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Is this one still locked? No, I think the way that phased out. Wait. What the fuck? Took the door away. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll figure this out, I swear. There we go. Like I said, it's just like a walking sim with a, a shooting range in between. And I think it works. It works well. Wait, are those the police? Nah, dude, something bad's about to happen here. Wait, how'd the police cars get up on the roof? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. We fall down, go boom, I guess. It's the crap that is stuck to our shield. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will.
You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't you? Oh? Okay, so now the Ed robot's gone. Bro, what the fuck is going on? This shit's getting more layers of fear slash amnesia on us than it is Robocop. So now we're just in some apartment complex. Bro, what is going on? I love this. <clears throat> okay, so this this must have been our house we lived in. Go to the kitchen. Do you like it? Worlds. The mug. World class husband. Do you like the mug? I love it. Bro, you know they're a rich family. They got fucking pistachios right there, bro. Examine the camera. Hey, you fixed it. Remember, I'm playing a game this afternoon. Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. It's weird that when we have our flashbacks, we're still in our suit. Why won't you stay a little longer? Leave for work? Fuck that, I wanna go up my stairs. Wait. What? Okay. It's a stairway. To turn back into a stairway. There's no way that's a real design for a house. I want that architect fired, and I want them fired right now. And now we're back at the mall, I think. This shit is such a cool head trip. Do you not love your family? Oh. Don't take him away from me! Everyone wants to be back home with their families. Be back home. So. Oh, okay. So. This part here is the murder scene in the first movie. Where you get shot to shit and blown up into small, tiny little baby chunks. This is that part. So we're reflashing back to us getting violated and annihilated. <laughs> Warning, object malfunction. Welcome, Chopper. Let's take a stroll through your old home. What? Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing. There's gotta be a reason why we're malfunctioning like this. Cause this isn't just a flashback. This is this something's fucked up at this point. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family Bro, it was worse than just being shot in the head. Why do you want to remember that? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Confront Alex Murphy? We have to confront ourselves. You better made him look real good. All right, they did a pretty bang up job on that. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you're a machine that's simply using my brain, but that's not true. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Damn savage. You're tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Very true. Give it to me. It's mine. But Lewis, I want it back. This Are we gonna fight ourselves? Badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. Get shit on. You are strong enough to take him. Don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Take this gift. 
Don't forget who you are. Alex Murphy! Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. I wonder if we're still sitting by the car. Arrest mode. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any... Wendell Antonowski. Oh, he gets shit on. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... No. You have the right to an attorney. I... I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Uh. What? Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back. Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know, 150 years? See how loud the cows, kids get outside? It registered on my mic. Them just screaming for no reason. Holy shit. Literally the youngest two are outside. Because they're the screamers every time. They gotta scream. They can't not scream. They have the only way they play is through screams. So at some point we're probably gonna have to go look at that trinket because I feel like that's gonna be a an important piece for us to look at. Something of relevance will come from that. story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status. Samantha did not release the footage. Here's a statement from John Mills candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, RoboCop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant RoboCop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote RoboCop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. Oh? The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. Ooh, that's some inside job shit right there. We wish you a speedy recovery. So, seeing that it said right at the end, they're like, she did not reveal the video. I wonder if that was due to some of our actions. Don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Only because it was in the mall. And my playthrough of Condemned and how much I loved going through that creepy ass old mall. I wish, 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 wish there would have been more to do there, but. It was still pretty, uh, pretty interesting. I just want to make sure because it seems like every time we come back here, there's uh, new evidence and stuff for us to futz with. 
Just want to see if there's anything else to pick up before we go forward. Try to get as much experience as possible. Well, as many side quests as possible. I feel like we're going to naturally miss some. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. There we go. A little more world building here. Are you having problems getting a hospital appointment? Are you tired of being at the mercy of those never-ending waiting lists? Do you feel powerless? It's time to take the control back. Take part in the family heart raffle and play the odds. A single I still like that you can buy raffle tickets to, to get operations done. Like, that's so, service. like... Anything from a dental appointment to a knee transplant. Don't miss the opportunity. Like, talk about a dystopian future. Like, I wanna visit to the for ten dollars, I want to visit to the pediatrician. Like, fingers crossed for my prostate exam, heart transplant. Here I go. Like, what? I'm not gonna say I can't see that happening, but like, selling your winning ticket is illegal and will be prosecuted. Yeah, I suppose probably not everybody needs something done. But for 10 bucks? Fuck. Okay, so now here's going to be the, the end of the mission review. We're going to see how much we missed. Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed. How do you go from a car mechanic to this? Like, that makes no sense. No! I missed one? Shit. Oh well. So now we're probably only getting a B again? Fuck. Oh, we still got an A, okay. We said no more Bs, but damn it, we missed a mission. Now! Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is finally fighting for my rights. I wish they would leave me alone. I am used to it. I'm going to go with the I'm used to it because I'm pretty sure Robocop understands the, the gravity of what he is. I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I do not need other people's approval. I do not need other people's approval to determine who I am. No. But no man is an island. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. Okay. When your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? Revenge on Wendell drives me. Perhaps I do. No, I only seek justice for Anne Lewis. My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. Hmm. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Nightmare system failure. Corrupted visions of my past. Holy shit balls. I'm going to go with nightmares. Nightmares. I think we're onto something. 
Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. It sucks we got an A, and we totally missed a mission. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. It's a pizza type night. Yeah, Rachel and I normally on Wednesdays uh, we'll do pizzas, but I fired it off yesterday because I was uh, I was feeling lazy and I didn't want to make anything. Can never go wrong with pizza. Pizza is always the bomb.com. We don't have enough chips for nachos, so we can't make little nacho bowls. Is that the only object right now? Or objective? Okay. Oh! Magnavolt is hiring. Do you have experience working in the police and military? Apply today. We offer better conditions and safer workplaces. Together, we can protect citizens without deadly efficiency. Or with deadly efficiency. I've been on a kick for nachos with Doritos. Yeah, no, we try to use a whole bunch of different stuff. Normally, like once a uh, once a month for the palate cleanser of nachos, we'll do uh, just like a plain regular chips. But the last couple of times, we got some fancy ones. We got some Hatch chili ones that were really good. We got some, uh, or we'll mix like two or three flavored chips together to see how that rolls. But we'll just make a big, a big, one big tray, and that's dinner. And nachos is love. Nach I love nacho night. Once a month, beer nachos? Can't go wrong. Who doesn't love nachos? I like how as the game goes on, it, it more and more kicks back that. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tin Man. Okay, so Pickles is mad at us now because we wouldn't help him with drugs. Let's see how this goes. What did you do this time? Uh, why does it have to be that I did something? Maybe one of your guys just got a little over eager. Did they? No. <laughs> None of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part 40 minute phone call right as I finish my food. Conducting suspicious activity for Very nice. OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. <laughs> Duty. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Well, at least Pickles is still our dude. Talk to you later, partner. Somewhere buried in there is a good dude. We know it. We know it. We know it. We know it. I do. Still not used to working with one hand. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. <laughs> yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. What? I'll oh, gain respect from his peers. Hell yeah. Good. I think that we'll turn that kid around in the end. He's gonna be a good dude. At least appreciate that he still calls us Sergeant Murphy instead of calling us like Robocop or something. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces. But we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. 
So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious And I'm choice. pissed off because we missed a mission. We missed one choice. mission on that last stage. Do you suspect Somehow. Becker is on Windows payroll? Okay, hold on. Before I answer this, okay, so Becker is that that asshole we hate. I'm sure of it. It has to be him. Then you won't like what I've got to say next. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory, and he wanted you to come alone. Oh, saucy! Rather unusual request. Saucy. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Oh, it, I think that's in reference to the kid. Um, he's trying his best. I mean, okay, we know he was hired by the bad guy, right? But I don't feel like the kid's trying to do bad stuff. He's trying his best. Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She helped me already because it's it's been nice for her to peel back the layers of the onion on us. She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington. Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing. I was expecting there to be more talking. I guess not. That walking through the mall part though, that was so cool. Like that was that was really well done. That was fan fucking tastic. I loved that. That was like real character building shit right there. I just want to make sure there's no, uh, it's closed now. I guess there's a first for everything. Hey, hold on. I have to see, I have to see me just make sure there's nothing left in here for us yet. I'm still so pissed that we missed a mission. Robocop does not miss missions. Even though I totally did. Don't at me. Okay, we talked to Pickles. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yes, I saw that they were announcing something sometime. I think they said in December. Maybe it was early December or something along those lines. I did share it in the Discord spam because I felt like... I mean, I know they've come out and said it, right? But watch, they'll be like... Grand Theft Auto 6 coming. 2026. And people will just be like... What? Hopefully that's a sign that they have something ready to release soon here, but like I could see them being super trolly with that. When are the game awards anyway? I know we streamed them last year. I was thinking about that today in the shower after I got done with golf. I was like, 
December 7th? What day is that? I still love that all these police cards are, are alts for Tauruses. A Thursday? Hmm. Okay. That's the one where the people and shit can vote, right? Oh, we're going to see Murphy. Hell yeah. Or not Murphy. Officer Lewis. Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers. I wanted to throw the TV out the window, but it was too heavy. Brand new healthcare. Can't afford your treatment? OSP can help. If you own property that can be the... Donate it to OCP. We can provide you with health insurance that covers all your treatments. Asterisks. Take advantage today and don't worry about the future because there is nothing more valuable than health. List of coverage treatments may change. I mean, that sounds about right. I think so. Now I'm using around the 13th or something like that. Okay. It's really weird because for this year, I was like, okay, Zelda's a shoe in. Like, no matter what, Zelda wins. And then it was, no, hands down, pants off, right? Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate is going to win, right? And now, everything I heard about this new fucking Mario game, people are like, this is one of the greatest Mario games ever fucking made. Like, Wonder or whatever it's called is amazing. And I'm like, we can't have 14 game of the years in a year, right? Like, the, game, the, it, the, the games released all can't be that freaking good, can they? Assholes. We'll run away from them. Or I guess quickly walk away from them. I mean, we'll have to do a stream that we're like. Well, I know Alan Wake, but I've heard too many like mixed things on it. I've heard people be like, if you didn't play the first one, it's kind of hard to play. I've heard, heard hump, some people just kind of complain that like. And additional benefits if you one of the campaigns to feels to great and the other one's like with. not very good now i know some of the the patches that might come out will fix some like i heard like minor audio issues and stuff like that she's waiting for you murphy open i am here to talk to you come on give me the skinny I want no like everything. the music was cutting in and out that the audio would just cut out altogether. Nothing to do with like Sorry, the music Captain. itself and stuff. It's my fault. I just gotta hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Lewis is feeling better. Wendell's in jail. Let's party. If you don't think a strike is brewing, you know what? Let me get this grouch out of here <laughs> so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. <laughs> Feel better, Lewis. Hey, his nose ain't all beat up anymore. World building. He's healed or healing. One of the two. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. Is there a Mass Effect 4? Are they saying that's Andromeda? Have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? still get them i'll be honest with her she's our partner she's our homie i still see okay you know ever since antonowski showed up they seem to be happening more often and with greater intensity i don't think i've ever seen you in such a state i just know how it affects me so i can't imagine i mean there's truth to that you. the fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who shot you we should not let the past haunt us easier said than done his presence reminds me of the day that I, that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Mm. 
No one could have predicted that. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. Damn it. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. It's so weird that this game is like, it, it, it steals a little bit from all the movies. It's so wild. I don't think it takes place during three. It feels like a weird in-between between two and three, maybe. I would like that very much. I would like that. Maybe there's someone who'd be willing to help us? I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. And you also forgot between you for uh, Baldur's Gate and Alan Wake we'll be back that uh, together in no time. Resident Evil 4 came out this year also. That shit was nuts. I was so afraid they were going to fuck that up, and I'm glad they didn't. I was like, please don't. Just please don't ruin it. Please, please. Spider-Man? Yeah, that's another one. Uh, Call of Duty, right? It's fucking mind-blowing. One of the best-reviewed ones ever of all time. Um... Didn't Star Wars come out this year too? Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. Like, see, for me, right? I don't see. I heard console release was good. I heard just that the PCs was rough. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I served this town with every drop of my sweat. I always tried to improve people's lives. I was good to them. And yeah, Harry Potter did come out this year. So I feel like like the big five for game of the year will be Baldur's Gate 3, will be Zelda. Um, I would assume Spider-Man probably does get up there, though I don't think it wins. I'm trying to think what else came out that was like really, really good. You know, all the things I'm seeing on Mario really makes me think Mario could be up there. No need to be afraid. Do not worry, you are safe. Robocop? You came to see me? Like a real friend would? I'm getting close to my Now I feel like shit because we said this guy was was uh, an asshole. And here he is calling us a homie. This uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me. How was it? Was it unbearable? <laughs> the pain was unimaginable. It was like taking a nap. Life flashed before my eyes. We'll go with that one. Fragments of my past life flashed before my eyes. And they keep flashing. Perhaps I am still dead. You can't be. Regardless of... What the it was bad across the board. Like I said, I just remember hearing it was really rough on PC for a lot of people. The end. You are walking proof of that. No, I guess I take that back because I think Thane was saying that he had a ton of issues also. Not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs. Okay, so maybe old man was a good dude. He won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you. Damn, look at the violence on that dude's face. He's on the way out and he's like, fuck that guy. I know you would 
would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. <sighs> Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? <sighs> okay. So I feel like the answer is I'm not qualified to do that. I am not qualified to administer medication. Please. No, old man didn't appreciate that. Help me. God. I'm sorry, buddy. My How much longer do I have to stand this? Not much longer. The helicopter is on its way, sir. I'll give you your painkillers in the meantime, sir. I don't know. I, I still think... Right now, this minute, if I had to pick a game of the year, I'd probably go Baldur's Gate just because... They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning, he'll be back to signing deals. Even though it was a little rough on console, I still think overall it wasn't rough enough to make the game, like, unplayably awful. And the writing in that game is, it looks really good from what I've seen. I haven't seen a ton, but the writing in that game did look really good. I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. What are you doing? Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for. Even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you <laughs> were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Wow. Robocop, please what a shit hit. Madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us. Doesn't she deserve better? I'm oh, this is not the place for this conversation. Like, I feel like saying that is true, but what about everyone else in here? Like, that would be messed up. A hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to. I love that. You withdrew support. They want to take it away from the citizens, but I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. So the other guy says he's our homie. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. But clearly, we don't support that dude either. But yeah, I still have to say in my heart of hearts, like, I think, I think Boulder's Gate 3, what it did, even though it had all the years of early access and stuff, the fact that they waited to really release it until it was ready, and it seemed like 99% of the people who played it were absolutely in love with it. And I'm, I have to say, even though I'm playing Starfield on console, where it's locked at 30 and secretly dips down to the not 30s or even close to the 30s, it is probably the least buggy Bethesda game I've ever played. Like, they literally put time into making sure that it was... You came, so you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Oh? Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop, meet the future of law enforcement. Bro, oh, okay. So, I can't remember what Robocop was from. Power Those were like yours, but the generic e Robocops that they were making or working on. But hell, this 
product speaks for itself. Are we gonna fight fake Robocops now? Oh, nice. Robocop, what's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Backers introduced. UEDs? They already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboard. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. Ooh, child. I think the most bitch get deleted. Don't get excited. This was just a warm up. Robocop, I got something. A headless UED will start shooting other droids. It's a bug that ended a presentation in front of That was actually a pretty rough fight. Holy shit. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. I think we're going to see what hard's starting to look like. Yes. And it should. Hopefully, as time goes on, they'll be able to get in there and fix it and sort of bring it back to glory, but they really like horribly dropped the ball on that one but I at least respect I think his name is Aaron Keller he's the new dude who like manages overwatch and stuff has kind of come out and said like we messed up things were mishandled hopefully we will be able to um earn players trust again like damn Blizzard is just in such a weird spot right now But it, it really does have to go away. They, there's so much shit they have to fix. And in my heart of hearts, I kind of look at Overwatch as much as I like it and have my ups and downs with it. He took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? Well, once I'm done with you, his career is over. Like uh, like TF2, like it's not, it was never really made from the ground up to be competitive. And then by doing that, oh, you bitch. He blew up the grenade in my hand, dumb and stinky. It was designed to be fun and they sort of saw money signs and tried to force a oh fuck enforce a competitive league I mean same thing with like uh what what is it not with the competitive league nonsense but like uh like Diablo 4 right like it just seems like that was a game It just felt kind of like not properly utilized or something. Like it's fine. But it definitely felt like there should be more there. Becker knows you are helping me. This is a it's like a weird optimistic I think time right now for Blizzard where hopefully Xbox taking them over can help return them a little bit to glory. Shit. Oh, I missed all together. Oh, we can't grab the robots. That hurts my butt. Ah.
But I think the, uh, at BlizzCon was supposed to be one of, if not the last Overwatch League tournament. And I think it's cool that they, they did it at BlizzCon. So I bet this is what the brains were for. You can resist, but it doesn't change anything. I won't let something like you kill my project. Holy shit, boss. So we are out of health kits. Oh shit. I think for me, if I had to pick a game for performance, I'd have to pick Resident Evil 4, I think, just because that ran so goddamn good. Oh shit. Well, how many of you are there? Okay, so clearly we're gonna wanna put more, I think, into the armor piercing now. Does that dude have a sniper? Damn, we whooped all the asses. Let's go. Oh, that was an achievement too. Destroy all of them under, under 10 minutes. I'm the best. Nice. That was a cool fucking fight though. That was rough. I'm, I'm glad the pistol does work though. Because if the pistol would have sucked, I'm pretty sure we would have been dead. Like, that was... <sighs> oh, here we go. Go in there. Tickle his booty cheeks. Just happened? <laughs> Back our... Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, RoboCop. And Mr. Becker. What? An excellent I knew this dude was a smelly doo, doo farter. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five years. I'm in Robocop. He's proved once again that Oh, he's let's go. Oh, fuck you. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable. How'd you fucking know about it? You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! Well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker. Oh shit, he was a prick from... I'll be watching the progress of first play. But until then, keep up the excellent work, Robocop. So I'm curious if like And you better keep an eye on that remote. See now I'm all confused because like clearly he turned the cops on us. Or the protect the bots or whatever. Which would make him an asshole. But if he was trying to show off how good his dudes were and their ass. We did a good job? Or something? Okay, that part was a little conflicting. I still feel like he's an asshole though. That 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 opinion's not gonna change. I love you, Robocop. Give me an S plus plus. Okay. He's an ass, but you don't think he's dirty? No! I missed the chest! <sighs> I 
I swear, dude, I can't win. Ew! Wow. <sighs> Bro, fuck me. That should do it. What's going on over there? Wait. Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical to conduct an experiment without our supervision. Right. I, d I don't know. I don't think so. But that might unlock after we beat the game. So we'll see. Because I have no clue. Okay, so now hold on here. We have nine skill points. Bro, well, we just got like six from that. Spend your fucking points. Um, yeah, no, that mission gave us a ton because I had two and I'm like, well, two's just whatever. I think I had two that gave us seven. But I think that's from the from the deduction thing, like it super squirted that up for us. So. We can finish scanning. Now, let's be honest. We haven't ricocheted a single fucking shot. Once. Oh, that makes you a little nauseous for that. <laughs> right? And getting the insta vision of all the enemies, I feel like that's cheesy. Like, that's not good. Uh, flushing out the vitality, since we aren't complaining about getting hit a little too much in the butt cheeks. Slowly recovering up to 75 max health can seem really good. Um, finishing out the combat, we could do that. Let me see. So that would be four. Let me see here. Defense is lame. Regen is hot. Okay, so we'll just flesh out the, uh, the vitality tree then. Get the slow regen, which I think is good. Um... So now we have one skill point left. Um, zero health. All health. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I guess we'll just put it in combat. And we'll just get the more enhanced shockwave. Because I feel like against the robots, that's probably got to be good. If our punch kills them, I feel like our shockwave will kill them too, right? So we'll just go off the mindset of if punch is broken, then shockwave has to be more brokener. And if those things become a common enemy or something of that nature, and we need to pen through armor more, like that has to be where it is. Auto nine, change board. Okay, hold on, hold on. Do these all have different shit? Okay, this and this. Then we got one in nuclear cloud. Okay, wait, hold on. Weekly on... Ew. So, while you were on your phone call, we realized that there's, like, other boards to activate. So, the board we're in now gives us more gore, massive damage, but we don't do criticals, laser focus to reduce the spread and improve accuracy in full auto mode. But I didn't... Like, we just found out, like, there's more fucking boards. More gore is super important. What does this do? Fires one round at a time, but deals heavy damage. Pellet rounds. Some rounds may split, dealing more damage at a short range. So like a shotgun and then more gore. Okay, hold on. What does the other one do then? Okay, what's, what's the A? Automatic. Oh my God. Automatic ammo feeder, no need to reload. More gore. And then the shotgun spread. So this would make us more like a, like, straight in your face. Do me, boy? That actually... <laughs> that one actually seems to be the fucking coolest. What is... I think that was the only one we really didn't read, right? Okay, what does this give us? Full auto mode. Piercer gives our bullets piercing damage.
I don't like the idea of just one bullet. Like, I like the spray and pray at this point. Like, if we're going to go in on it, right? So I think we should go with this board because pellets sound cute. Never having to reload sounds incredible. And then this deals with what? And we get gore, weapon spread, weapon damage, weapon spread, weapon damage, reloads. Okay, so the reload speed would be utterly pointless. Uh, weapon spread, weapon damage, and damage. So we could get a lot of fucking extra damage from this. This might actually be a pretty good tree. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so the magazine literally means nothing, right? Because if we're going for the never reload, this is literally dump. So do we just have a small one to throw in here? Let's see. I don't have an up left. There we go. Weep. It has to be fun. It has more gore. I mean, I guess we'll find out. Oh, we could probably go to the gun range and see what the differences are. So for this here, we just want a straight down. Do we have a big straight down? Because then we don't lose the penalties. I think this was the one I liked the most. Uh, having the auto reload, more gore, and the pellet rounds that come out like shotgun, that, that all seems really good. A whole bunch of extra damage seems nice with some, with some spread. Like, I think this tree flows the best. Granted, I don't fully know, but it feels like uh, this one's going to be... It's going to be really good for us. Okay, so here we just want... Yeah, we don't actually care about reload speed. Because if we just go all in, it don't matter, right? So then for weapon damage, go boom. This is spread. So for spread, we just want a lefty and a righty so we don't go down. This might actually be the first time, too, we were able to construct a build that doesn't touch the negatives at all. Because the last one we had, we were kissing the ass on so many of the negatives, it fucking sucked. Like, we were just getting pelted with negatives. And then we need a feed through. Um, this one. Oop. Right. So now we have no negatives. 50% or 57 weapon spread reduction, 70% damage, and the magazine size means nothing. Okay, so then let's see here. Let's go to the gun range and see how that looks. Hey, Becker's here. Let me get my hands on him. At least, even though you come back here a few times, they continually have a good good job of, like, making it feel alive and a little a different every time. And you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. What the fuck? We just killed them all. Will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains... No glitching, total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. That's the spirit, old timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. What if the hell, dude? Is this dude going to be a bad guy, too? To, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now. No way. What is Delta City? No crime, no poverty. Safe, secure, and clean living units for everyone. For you, for our children. Choose today a bright new future in the city. Of tomorrow. Dude's just trying to cop. I get it. But like I thought. I don't know. I feel betrayed or not. If I was Robocop. I'd be like. Look at all these new. Look at this new chipboard I equip. <laughs> Fuck you asshole. You're garbage. You're all garbage. Becker's still a bitch. And I feel like he is a bad guy right? I mean I guess. Robots save lives, or like, you don't have to get rid of human, but I don't know. Let's see. Now, let's see if my new gun works here.
<laughs> Dude. I feel like we're gonna wreck some shit with this gun now. The only problem I think is it feels like some of those pellets are like that we need to be at like medium range so we're gonna have to learn to use our picked up guns a little more because you can see how that's coming out like behind them on the wall these things are coming out spicy I mean, this is like straight cottage cheese, the gun. We'll just let that finish up, though. I like that. He's a bad guy, but not a villain. Okay, that's fair. That's right. I have the record for the day. Okay, so what did the other boards have? Okay, so this gate, this, so, th okay. So the basic one. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. So this one was just more gore and full auto. This is the tutorial board, right? The second one here that we have that is inactive is uh, single shot mode and massive damage. This is the crazy auto fire shotgunniest explodius that we have. This is full auto with piercing with a lot of weapon spread reduction, some damage, some armor piercing. So this looks like that could be a good time. Now this one's not turned on, but this was the more gore. Massive damage, but we lose crits. Now technically we skilled into dealing crit damage. So I feel like that'd be kind of weird to, to stay in this tree with that. And we did a good job at not even hitting the negatives. Right, full auto and laser focus. But my big thing with this one is, right, is that we have minus 27% armor piercing, which sounds like shit. 30% weapon spread increase, which sounds like shit. In a magazine set, like, this was a fun one, but it was hard to get because all the pass-throughs basically hit the negatives. But I do want to take all the pieces off. And what's this one here? Single shot mode, more gore. And the pellet spread. But this would then turn our gun into a semi-auto. So it would be like bang. Bang, bang. Instead of what we have. I feel like that would be a little corny. I think we stay with the spray and pray-esque of shotgun mode. Now let's see here if we can increase some of these numbers though. Since we took some parts off the other board. So 17 there is better. We can't increase... Any of these at all, but that's okay. I think we'll roll shotgun mode, see what happens. It, it, it kind of goes into, I mean, if you think about it right with our build, because we have the regen, we have the extra damage. Granted, the punch reloading now does nothing with this, but it plays more into the shockwave. So, I mean, it's like we're, you're, it seems like each of the boards trade a piece for a piece. Like, I'll, I'll give you this for this instead. 13 dead after the celebration of Guatemalan Independence Day. The authorities explained they mistook the intense outburst of joy for another coup d'etat. It's worth noting that Guatemalans regained their independence for the fourth time in the last 23 years. I have to say, though, the, the RPG in here, even though it's really light, it's just enough to make sense, but not enough to piss me off. I want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, 
We are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. <laughs> sure is, but there's still a mole that was pretty hot. To find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. A what? Hey Murphy, that news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. See, I bet if we were a dude to her, she probably wouldn't talk to us. But are you in like regular clothes? Robo, do you have a minute? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade nice. is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd I'd like to give you this. It's her phone number. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching Damn the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. Oh, hey, that's nice, dude, actually, because that was when they didn't... ...station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why... They didn't turn it in, and I was like, why didn't she turn it in? That's why, it's because we're her homie. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that... Bro, everyone's got to stop with the political shit. I would be happy to oblige. No, we don't. Okay, roll the tape. Dude, fuck my ass. Metro West, conducting an interview with a man that All right, so RoboCop, I would say, because she's probably an average-sized person. One of the more contentious. He's probably like six four, six five. So he's kind of big, but he's not huge. Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to. Who do we support? Bro. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta Beef jerky. The future of old Detroit? Beef jerky for everybody. Oh, fuck balls. Why do you have... Why are you like this game? Okay, so let's think about this here. Mills is right. Delta City is hope for old Detroit. Uzek is right. Delta City will be Detroit's downfall. Delta City seems promising. Current day Detroit is my... I feel like that's just the best answer because I am RoboCop. So I'm going to go with current day Detroit is my focus. I would focus on current Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been RoboCop for Channel 9. That's going to bite us so in the ass you watched. <laughs> signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing. Bro, I don't have hair. Not even under my helmet. I know Kuzak isn't great, but he's not another corporate suit. Tuh, not great? Okay, right. But still, everyone knows that OCP's behind that Mills guy. At least I swear if these people are done talking, they just snap to look to us again like all the other ones do. It's going to freak me out. Good, they didn't. I'm curious to see because it said, um, you know, she gave us that tape. And even though it doesn't say anything about playing it, I'm curious if we can. I'm assuming the VCR is going to be like somewhere around here or some shit. I still want to know what the hell's going on with this screen. Hey, can you play a VHS tape for me? Pa 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 pa, bitch. No. Or maybe just not turning it in was the like good deed instead of being like Robocop malfunctioned again. Because that's that's the only place I thought we'd get to watch it. And because there doesn't seem to be a mission for it, I'm going to assume no. Or maybe we'll get the option to later. Like maybe because we're on a mission right now. Just got to make sure though that there's nothing. Because I, I don't know. I feel like sometimes... I saw Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I wouldn't be surprised if he was already on the way out. 
Um, you're a bitch. You guys are fine, I guess. Oh, I guess we leave. So it seems like we're slowly starting to see the outcome of our choices because like she was nice to us she didn't turn the tape over i'm going to assume she would have turned the tape over so maybe this game is like the old uh, no mercy wrestling game where like yeah you're just wrestling through the story mode but at the same time there's there's uh branches that go off instead so like maybe if we were a doo-doo head to her it would be making stuff different for us and vice versa I'll never it just it just makes me so happy like this is such a love letter to Robocop as a whole I love it this is I couldn't imagine following stick a truth up right you can't go from absolute banger to like middle slapper right so you you have to like You had to follow that up with something good. Like, RoboCop right behind that, I think, was just perfect, right? It's because it's been a while since we went from, like, Banger Slapper to Banger Slapper. We clearly went from Banger Slapper to Banger Slapper. Oh, I don't know, man. Stick of Truth writing was... Ooh! You get to go into Mr. Slave's anus. Like, ooh! Don't... Don't tempt me with a good time. I feel like there's going to be a gun gunfight here. Like, I don't know why. I just feel like something's about to go fucky. There's going to be like a prison break or something. Bro, it's a suck 6,000. Bro, a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. You too, fucker. I suppose we're probably not going to be very liked here, huh? <laughs> I like that. I'm fuck it. I just did. All right, real facts. If this shit doesn't get set off, game gets a two out of ten. I want to hear beep because we're lit, like all of us should set this off. Oh, gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, okay. change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep. I was about to say, if it doesn't oh, beep, I'm gonna be fucking mad. Because they paid so much attention to other small details, like you're going to tell them you're going to let that of all things slip through. Oh, that didn't change. Unplayable. Refund issued. Hey, go outside. Damn it. to see you in my prison robo Did okay i was about to say like is this another new bag i get introduced now i felt at home almost i'm glad you're here i want to ask you about the man you're here to see the only thing i know is that he's no ordinary prisoner ocp oh he was prison. so secret. yes so who is he technically true I love that. A low life awaiting his trial. Just another problem off my list. He is slime. <laughs> he is a slime. Um, I'm gonna go with the a low life awaiting his trial. He is a criminal awaiting his trial. But I need to know who I'm dealing with. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison. 
but now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. Or he's probably half fish. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. See, when he says it that way, like, that's fucked up, dude. Like, who, who words that that way? I'm glad you keep my business alive. Like, eat shit. How do you get a baseball? OCP funds you, but Becker is not your inside man. Who is? You're not going to ask me how I'm settling in. Answer me. Places like this do me good. I even quit smoking, you know. The trick is to keep your hands busy. Dude, how long has he been in there? Just a couple days, like. As long as your hands are cuffed, I do not care. I keep my hands busy punishing criminals. <laughs> uh, I'm not interested in small talk. Fraternization with criminals is not embedded into my programming. No, you're selling yourself short, Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I am done playing your games. You cannot give me what I want. There is nothing left to be restored. I'm gonna go with the I am done playing your games, I guess. I am here to enforce the law, not to play your game. I love how stiff Robo is. It's so good. Mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. The new OCP project is what will make this possible. That's basically what I've tried to do is just hardcore roleplay Robocop outside of like two or three times. Because some of the choices are too spicy. No way, bro. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. Are we gonna fly that just like clap the cheeks? Wow, the metal got like, or the music got like super 80s all of a sudden. Wait, hold on. We found incriminating evidence in here. Sussy. What? I don't know, man. That's, that's sussy right there. Game. What? 
Right. I mean, I guess though, right? Like, we know this place would have some shit too. Let's be real. Let's not lie to ourselves. And not having to reload. Makes this shit feel really overpowered. I don't think I did that one. So we kind of unintentionally shot the one dude in the head like three times. Oh, we should have used the uh, the spark attack thing to see what that does. It was fun though. I don't know if those dudes are actually that bad though. They started it. I mean, that's that is truthfully true. Yes. Okay. So now we have to figure out here. There's more of these. So for now, we'll take this. Must have missed something somewhere. Don't at me. Give me the combat shoddy. Well, I don't think I can help that guy. Dude, you, why do you have fake money in here in a stolen wallet? This is the guard's post. Unless they took it from dudes? No. I should be going after all these dudes too. I should just get everybody. So when we were in our RoboVision there, like you saw the little flash of uh, green behind them. Hello. Anatomy corner. That's the ricochet points. I was half expecting something bad from that. Bro, excuse me? <gasps> oh, man. I geeked out because I saw the melee and I'm like, oh, there's melee weapons. Let's go. 
There is not melee weapons. You can't breach with something in your hand. Okay. I feel like that guy might have. Well, no, he had a gun. Why do you have a stolen handbag vibing in here? Like, bro, how did you guys get a handbag in here? You put it there too scandalous. Another plot twist I just didn't see coming. <laughs> so I was trying to just clip his head on the doorway. The throwing people in this game is Oh hit the wrong button, but that'll work. <laughs> Like, imagine how hard you gotta be hit to, like, explode like that. If you read that any other way, like, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. That had to be a good, haha. Now, the throwing people is a blast. Grabbing them off the motorbikes is a blast. Like, this game was like, if we're going to make a walking sim and try to world build around it, right? We get, we still have to have a proper amount of fun still in there. This dude's about to get shrecked. Freeze. I, I still love the way it hits and splatters and shit. Like, that's so. Kind of grossly satisfying. Like it's, Don't shoot. I'm not going to. Besides, I'm pretty sure even if I did, and I'm not, that would be a loss of mission because that's we're not a doo doo head. I kind of liked the music playing. The way that shit splatters, dude. The meat chunks is like, fuck. So, our shockwave thing isn't working. Like, it doesn't seem to be killing anybody? My pants are splattering the same. So I'm not sure if it's like bugged and it's not working or something? Try it again. I thought that shit was supposed to kill him. Oh, we're not there yet. Aha! That's right. Okay, I knew that. I was like, why isn't it working? Uh, because you don't have it. That's why. That's right, we took the regen first, and then we said we would go into the, uh, the spicy juicy.
Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. I just and Robocop. <laughs> give him my regards. I will give well, I figured if we're gonna if we're gonna try to right now that we have the health regen, right? Unless we're like balls deep in combat, I feel like we need to start playing the game like. Look, I found this body, and then I put it in this weird area. We need to have fun with that. Oh, dude, we got your muffins all bloody. I was talking about. We started a baking class for the inmates, and I must say I've been enjoying it myself. I like it even says in there, like, grossly unedible from the blood. But the, it is pretty fun. Oh. It is pretty fun. Like, we need to utilize that more because it is hilarious. Oh, okay, so this this just Bethesda us around. You know what, though? The way they made that flow around actually worked out pretty well. Dude, we gotta stop by that. Hi, Bethesda son. I'm Bethesda dad. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. You know what's not really good, though? It's about time for me to shut the stream down for tonight. Not what I expected on my first day. Wow, that'd actually be a pretty wild first day. You get to meet Robocop and then all this shit happens too. Like, fuck. You're having a day, I'll tell you what. I feel like some of these security dudes are going to be on, on that bad guy's payroll. Like, I don't know. Part of me feels like my butthole's about to get tickled. Part of me feels like I'm about to do some tickling myself. We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? I don't feel like I missed anything. I'm ready to proceed. Okay, then. Good luck. No shit, dude. Like, we just stopped the whole prison riot as a one-man gang. No! I missed a mission. Son of a bitch. Damn it! Glad you're here, Robocop. But I think I saw someone, someone from the outside. Those couldn't have been prison. Holy shit. Wait. Wow. Okay, hold on. So this is probably right before we said yes. Interesting. I didn't realize how many saves this game made. But it looks like it saves every point we go to, like every new point. So technically, oh no. Okay, so like, yeah, I guess we could go back and play missions, but I would assume that like, you lose the data up to that point. So if we go back to, you know, Metro West the second time to do that one mission, like we would lose all the other stuff. Like that's not worth it. Play. So it doesn't look like there is an option select, but or a like a level select, but maybe down the road there will be. Well, that was a good time. That was another good stream. I've been really having a lot of fun at Robocop. Robocop has been a nice palette cleanser. And it says we have 70% of the achievements already. So so we are probably nearing the end soon here, I would assume. Destroy all the UEDs during the shady meeting in under 10 minutes. Only 6% of people have that for shame. Eliminate three enemies and one explosive. 40 players. Oh, that's fine. Book them. Complete ghosts in the past. That was a, that's just a do a basic mission. That was but with that said, it's time for me to head out, everybody. Um, Rachel works tomorrow. 
So that means I would assume another stream tomorrow, probably more Robocop. As a matter of fact, 100% more Robocop confirmed. As long as I can get all my house husband stuff done. I know I got a lot of laundry and stuff to do tomorrow. Um, but everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening. And we hope to see you on the flip side, everybody. Much love. Peace, y'all.